What is up, YouTube? I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, I was basically just uh, on vacation, you know. Busy my sister and all. Uh, so I thought I'd upload something to uh, put the traffic to some use. Right now, I'm going to review two games that. Uh, two Final Fantasy games. Uh, as you know, Final Fantasy February is coming up. This is something that Mr. Happy came up with. This guy's channel who I've been following. Uh, he makes all kinds of Final Fantasy videos. He's really big in MMORPGs, which I have not really gotten into, but uh, after playing the main series Final Fantasy, MMO, MMORPGs are, re are definitely have more, way more elasticity than the main series games. You know, there's always stuff to do in them. <laughs> you know, uh, Final Fantasy 12, which is kind of like one, had lots and lots of stuff to do, and the newer Final Fantasies have a lot more stuff to do than the older ones. So, I don't feel bad for playing those ones a lot more than the old ones. Uh, <clears throat> with that said, one minute in, <laughs> that was my intro. Right now, I will be reviewing two games uh, that I played recently. They're kind of sequels to each other. They're actually both prequels. But, uh, yeah, one of them is a sequel to the other one, but they're both prequels to the original game. So, that kind of confused me at first, but then I was like, oh, two prequels, I got, you know. Uh, so, the first one is called... Final Fantasy, and this is part of the Crystal Chronicles series, which is Nintendo only. It's been nine years since Nintendo had any Final Fantasy games since Final Fantasy VI. So, because of that, people who had some Nintendo nostalgia didn't have any games to do on Final Fantasy. So, these came out for the GameCube. Uh, the original one is physical only for the GameCube, and it had two sequels. And they're both digital. One is digital only. So, there's a physical only, a digital only. And I'll be getting the digital ones soon, hopefully. Uh, the, the two that I did play already, though, or the DS games, uh, there's two DS, the prequels, original, physical only, and then there's two sequels to the original. So, uh, altogether, it's like five games. Uh, I did play the first two of them. I played the sequel first, and I have to say that I was a little confused because it was a sequel. <laughs> you know, usually I do play the originals first. The first game is called Ring of Fates, and Final Fantasy Curse of Chronicles Ring of Fates. The second one is Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, like all of them. Uh, it's called... What is it? Oh, Echoes of Time, yeah. And the Echoes of Time Ring of Face thing really mean nothing in the game. I mean, you can go back and fight bosses previously in both of them, but in Echoes of Time, time isn't really much of a factor. In fact, time doesn't really factor into the game, so just ignore the... the or titles, they don't really mean anything. But, uh, with that said, this is kind of a cool little sub series. It's really, it's really action oriented, oriented. Uh, it's really nothing like any previous Final Fantasy games. Most comparable to Dissidia, but it's way more adventurous. It's totally an adventure game. It's not even action. You could say action adventure, but it's really more like adventure. So, you know, it's kind of like Zelda games and stuff in a way. Uh, they are very different from each other, though. Uh, the second game has an option they added to give it a little bit more uh, playtime that you do. Uh, the way that they do it with the playtime is they uh, walk you by. Break is brought to you by Skittles. Skittles because they're very good. They're so very good snack to have. What are you doing? Just standing in the bottom of the mirror or something? Can't talk. You need Skittles instead. That's very good. Very good fruit. You know what else is good? My first hearing drink or drink? Monster. It's really good too. really good together too. <laughs> I'm having food too, so it's not like I'm just eating those two. Uh, so anyways guys, uh, what they do in the second game is they add in difficulties, and this is the first time since Final Fantasy 13 too that I've seen difficulties in any Final Fantasy game. So that's kind of new, and the weird thing is that it's actually kind of backwards. When you play ex when you play hard and expert, it's actually easier than playing medium, because you get to keep all your stuff from previous games, and they actually add on weapons in hard mode. So when you get the light blade, 
Yul Sun and Belay Blade and Chocobo are not the best weapons in the game. Those would seem to be the best weapons if you play medium and you finish the game, but as you get to hard mode, you actually unlock uh, the ultimate weapon, even. So, I'm gonna keep playing hard just to get the ultimate weapon, even though the dungeons are really long and stuff. Uh, and yeah, they had a lot of stuff too, and there's a lot of support characters on your team too. They both have multiplayer. The first game has more mini games than the second one does. Remember, Ring of Face is the first one, uh, and Echoes of Time is the second one. Which I, I'm kind of like jumping back and forth on which one I like most about them, but I'll continue this video later. YouTube, I gotta hit the bathroom. I don't edit my videos, so this is kind of a quick update on. You know, the games I've been doing. Excited for Final Fantasy February, and let's keep on our six minutes. See ya.